you have just celebrated in him he who, he who is he <laughs> he who is the light because you have just given him what he loved to hear you can't give him any kaikon he will not hit it you cannot give him a pankoko he will not hit it you cannot give him swear we will not hit it what then you cannot give him what 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 is the best food in from your village he want the only thing he wants to hear they want to see he wants to he wants to receive from me and you every day is the worship is adoration he thanksgiving and because you have just done that <laughs> power the vow that you will not get to the top and the lonely lion follow you to this altar tonight that power is dead that power is strangulated i said that power is dead in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Listen to this. The Bible said in, then in John chapter 5 verse 25. Holy Spirit help me. Verily, verily I seal unto you. The hour is come. And now is. When. When. Not if. When the dead shall hear. The voice of the son of God and they shall live. The dead shall hear the voice of the Lord and they shall live. Whatever is dead here tonight. Whatever is dead that is connected to you, whatever is considered dead, irreversible, irredeemable, they have told you forget about it. You have reached a point of no return. Whatever is dead in your life, dead in your life, in your surrounding, whatever is dead, whatever, 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 whatever. whatever. It could be your business. It could be your womb. It could be part of your body that been rendered dead. It's no longer alive. That part of you is dead completely. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? This night, the Lord said, and they shall hear the voice of the Son of God and they that hear shall live. Therefore, tonight I will send this shofar. The shofar represents the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. God's shofar. I read that is 500 feet. My own is about two feet. God's own is 500 feet. That is the one you are going to hear on the day of rapture. That is where from the end of the world to the beginning of the world, everybody will hear it. If you have been criminated, the heart will give account of you. 
because the earth is the master scribe. Is the earth that can give blow by blow account of every man that ever entered into this world. So wherever I dump you, either you are criminated and then they throw you into lagoon, you will hear that day. So as you hear this sound, the sound of this shofar tonight, you will leave. Your amen laugh at me see. What I'm saying is this whatever is dead in your body. I believe nobody is deaf here. Even if you are deaf, tonight, as this shofar will be sounded, your ear will be open. Whatever is dead in you will come alive. Your business will come alive. Your marriage will come alive. Uh, your ministry will come alive. Uh, everything about you will come alive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I think I have five minutes more. Amen. Are you ready? Hear this. Joshua chapter 5. That will lead me to, you know, Joshua chapter 6, sorry. Joshua chapter 6. Joshua chapter 6. Let's look at verse that's five. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. That when they make a long blast. With the rams on. With the rams on. And when he hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall do what? Shout. With what? A great shout. And the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up. Shall ascend up. Tonight, there shall be lifting. Tonight, there shall be promotion. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him after now nothing will stop you again after this encounter nothing nothing born of a woman nothing visible nothing invisible shall be able to stop you You can't stand on a, before a moving tree. From tonight, you become a moving tree. Whatever collides with you, don't mind me. The man who bad lolly alapata. Am I correct? If a cow enter 
into a butcher's house. Will he come out the same? No, he will come out in pieces. Whosoever stand on your way after now eh, shall be slaughtered into pieces. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is something you can't fathom God. You can't imagine God. You can't. When you look at verse 1, God said, I, uh, he, he said, can you give me verse 1? Verse 1. Verse 1. The option Joshua. Verse 1. Now, Jericho was straightly shut up before the children of Israel. That means Jericho was shut up because of you. Because of me. Jericho was shut. They too, they can't come out. They remain there. There are blessings that the devil has hijacked and stored in a place. It's not useful to them. They care not. But those blessings are just there. But God said, I have given you that job. But God said, I want to ask you about this place that is shut up. It's locked up. Padlocked. Nobody could go in. Nobody could come out. And you, God said, I have given it. How? But he said, I have given it. Hey, hey, hey. Difficult miracle. Difficult progress and achievement. Unfathomable, you know, progress. After now, you will begin to come your way. It's difficult to believe, but it will happen. It's difficult to believe, but it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. What God said is that I am giving the Jericho. To you, and he said, huh. None went out and none came in, and God gave them the formula. <laughs> this throughout this week, somebody is receiving the formula. <laughs> Divine formula, Divine idea. Hey, that will take you from point A to point Z. There is what I call galloping blessing. Galloping miracle. Galloping progress. That is your portion. Who is the owner of that? That is your portion. I said so that is your portion. Did you hear? One man told Baba Umuakpai. He said, I have no child. Let me tell God that God is not too. Don't let me use the language he used. And he said to him, because of what you have just said, God is going to be embarrassing you every year. You know what? The first pregnancy, twins. The second pregnancy, twins. The third pregnancy, twins. The fourth pregnancy, twins. And he told, he went to him and said, Sir, let me tell God to stop this thing now. Your miracle begins from now. Yeah. Ah, Holy Spirit, he said, thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, you are here. You are at one time deliberately, deliberately you spoke against God. 
deliberately, deliberately, you basleded. Because of what you have been asking God for. That thing took a long time and because that thing did not come up on time, you decided to back out. And you are here. Listen to this. From tonight, from tonight, God will begin to embarrass you with signs, with wonders, that it is you that will not tell God. You will tell God, you will go to God's servant and say, please help me beg God now. Help me beg God now. Help me beg God now. God will say, no. I said, God will embarrass you. Blessing. The miracle you don't have capacity to carry. The signs and wonder you don't have capacity you know, to carry. God is going to give it to you. see tonight I have given into your hand what is that thing what is that thing what is that thing what is that thing is that community is it that you know particular you know uh, business or trade and God said I have given it to you into your hand and the king thereof Oh my God. And the mighty men of valor. The king. Dear love. All the power that be. That say you will not progress. That say you will not amount to anything. Do not come about shame that about. Tonight. God is handing them over to you. The Lord is handing them over to you. Hallelujah. You know, he said, King and mighty man. When you look at Psalm 149, when you begin to read from verse 6, when you get to verse, is it 9 or 6? He said, Let the high priest of God be in their man, two edges so in their hand to exclude vengeance upon the people and punishment upon the nation. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. He's not talking of ordinary men, he's not talking of mere men. He's talking about kings and nobles. Kings will submit to you. Hey, the principal enemy of your marriage. After tonight, they are going down. Jesus. Now I want to stand this so far now. The Bible says, and they, sh they shall shout with a great shout. And when you shout with a great shout, something will happen. Because Jericho fell flat. Ah. Thank you, Father. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not a motivating, motivational uh, preacher. We are not motivating you here. That is the word of God. I ask a congregation to shout 21 hallelujah. And the same thing I'm asking you to do. 
after the sounding of the shofar, I just shout it very well. Somebody will collapse that day. Somebody somewhere collapsed and and he was blessed with stroke and died of stroke. Why? Because he was a thorn on the flesh of that man. Whosoever has been a thorn on your flesh, as Jericho fell flat, that woman or man will fall. Jericho fair, Joshua place a cost whosoever restructure rebuild eh, revalidates the Jericho again his first child and the last child will go for it can you remind me whether it happened after many years after 500 years Prophecy doesn't die. Can't do anything about it. 500 years later, it happened. What is happening this week will not only affect you, it's going to affect your first generation. Are you counting with me? Your second generation. Your third generation. And your fourth generation. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. So I'm going to sound this shofar now. Seven times. Seven times. And after that. You begin to shout. You begin to shout. Do it this way. You say, Oh Lord, remember me and deliver me. Amen. Are you ready? Please do it well. And after that, I'll ask you to do one other thing.
Karabosi. Karabosi kam parabosi ndarabo. Kuriya ba shekere bu masaka teke ndarabo. The angel of deliverance is right beside you there. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is a permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Yes, permanent deliverance from power, from the power of darkness, from the gate of hell. Permanent deliverance from marital turbulence and troubles. Permanent deliverance from every hidden yoke, from hidden sickness. Permanent deliverance from the power from your village. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance from marital trouble, financial trouble, environmental trouble. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Yes, 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 yes. All over this place. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. Permanent deliverance. All over. Yes, yes, the hour is here. 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 Yes, this is the hour. This is the hour. This is the hour. The Nalobo Shinda Campo Shinda. Lord, I celebrate you. Lord, I celebrate you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Last thing you are going to do is this. Israelite were before the Jericho. The Jericho, mark my word. Israelite were before their own Jericho. The Jericho of their life. Was is your own Jericho. The Bible says they came face to face with that Jericho, and God gave them the formula, the instruction of what to do. They said, Shout with a great shout, and Jericho shall fall flat. Now, I want you to imagine whether your trouble is from your village, then go to your village house your father's house. Stand in the middle of that house. Or in front of that house. Just, you know, just figure it out. Holy Spirit, thank you. Just, you know, imagine you, yourself, you being in front of your house. If it is Lagos here, go back home now. Even in your village, go back to your village now. Are you there? Now, if your own is not from your village, whatever it is, maybe it's a contract. Maybe it's a company. You have been looking for a job. You have been knocking, 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 and those people refuse to budge. They don't want to give you appointment, letter, and all of that. Now, stand before that company. Are you set? <laughs> you will shout with great shout. What? Who does Jericho get the shout of hallelujah? You will stand before that building and you will begin to if he's a man. Look at that man. Stand before that man and then begin to shout. You are going to shout 21. Hallelujah. Shout it. Something will happen to you. 
and something will happen to them out there. Amen. This is our own lady. This is your own lady. <coughs> this is your own altar. Eh? Anything you bind here shall be bound in heaven. Anything you lose here shall be loose in heaven. Are you ready now? Uh, I will just sign this so far once. Now listen. No farmer plants his seed on a weeded bush. He first of all clear the bush and burn the bush, clear the ground and dig the ridges. Then they begin to plant. This night, the barriers holding your progress in your family have been uprooted. you have nobody to help you and they can do with you anything they like from this night by the mysteries you have received in this meeting the Lord shall become our shepherd the Lord shall become our shepherd where you have lacked and lacked and lacked and become a mockery because from today, you shall not watch. You shall not watch. Your name shall be supplied. Your name shall be matched. In the name of Jesus. I 
I understand the mysteries the men of God are presented to us tonight. But the Lord has set a table before you and I in the presence of our enemies. It is the table the Lord has set that have made us to have enemies. But our enemies are the enemies of God. Therefore, by the blast of the new trail and the trumpet of God, from today, you shall have access to your treasures. Access to your treasures. Access to your miracles. Access to your marriage. Access to your money. Access to your breakthrough. Again, I said to you, but surely goodness and mercy will accompany you from today. Anywhere you go, no voice of judgment will hinder you anymore. Where there is a voice of judgment, they shall be cut up by the voice of mercy. Goodness of God shall follow your house. Goodness of God shall follow your children. Goodness of God shall follow your spouse. Goodness of God shall follow our ministries. In the name of Jesus. Come on, clap your hands together for Jesus. That's a, that's a meeting that time time we lost his strength when Apostle Lamia was preaching I wanted to go and stop him because the time was running and my, mama, my wife said that man has not finished what he came to do yet praise God I listen you have commander saying I have five minutes more from that five minutes more, you got 20 minutes more. Were you blessed? Were you blessed? Now, when that trumpet was sounded, I remember that they opened shop. That's why I didn't want that to open some shop here. Because there are some things God wants to do. And I asked them, how much bread do we have in that shop? And they told me, I said, go and bring it. Praise God. So this bread here is not for sale. It is a take home. <laughs> Femi is not here. The church will pay. Praise God. If you know that you can't feed when you get home tonight. But the wheat don't take the wheat bread. Sort out the wheat bread. I want to give it to the elders. Sort out the wheat bread. Those of you who feel that I need this bread, lift up your hand. I need this bread. All of you. Okay. One per family. Mama. Mama Shana, when you take, none of your children must come here. One pa. One pa. When you take, your wife and children will not come here. Praise the Lord. All right. Where's the wheat? Give two to our guest minister, one one. 